In this video, we're going to talk about three main features of the TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator, and that is the window, the zoom, and trace. So we'll go ahead and turn it on, and we're going to start off by graphing an equation. Okay, so we'll go into y equals, that's how we graph, and we're going to graph a quadratic equation. We're going to graph negative 4x squared plus 5x plus 16. So we'll go ahead and hit the graph button. And there's our quadratic. Now, one thing that's important about a quadratic is to be able to see the vertex. Well, right now, this is our window, right? And we cannot see the vertex. The vertex of this parabola is out of our window. So what we see right now is just the standard window. On your TI-84 Plus graphing calculator, your standard window will be on the x-axis, negative 10 to positive 10, and on the y-axis, negative 10 to positive 10. So for us to be able to see a different window than that, we need to hit the window button. Okay, so now when we hit window, there are a lot of things that pop up. The four main settings that we want to adjust are X min, X max, Y min, and Y max. So X min and max refers to the X axis. X min refers to how far left you want your window to show. X max would be how far to the right you wanna see. Y min would be how far down you wanna see and y max would be how far up you want to see. So when we go back and look at our graph, we see that our vertex is above or it's it's higher than what window we see right now. So we want to adjust our y max. So let's go down right now, y max is at 10. Let's just make it 20 and see if that shows us our vertex. If it does, great, we're done. If it doesn't, we can just repeat the steps and put in a higher number for y max until we're able to see our vertex. So now we hit graph. And now we can see the vertex of our parabola. So our window is good, okay? So that is the basic premise of the window function. Now for zoom, zoom is what it looks like. You click on it and it tells you, do I wanna zoom in, zoom out? Um, and there's some other options there. The number one option that you're gonna choose is Z standard. So what Z standard is, um, is it takes you back to your standard zoom, which is negative 10 to positive 10 on both the X and the Y axis. So you can go down until you get to the six, or you can hit the numeral six on the number keypad. So if you hit six there, notice how it takes us back to negative 10 to positive 10 on both the X and the Y axis, okay? So let's adjust our window back so that we can see our vertex. Let's change this back, the Y max back to 20. And now let's talk about trace. So trace, once again, um, it does what it sounds like. So when you hit trace, you get this little cursor that flashes on your screen. And you can move this cursor with your left and right directional keypad to look at different X and Y values that are on your parabola. So for instance, when we click on trace, there are a lot of different X and Y values that we could get. And for the most part, when you do trace, um, you're not going to get whole number values. You might, but in this case, notice how we see you know 2.12 repeating for the X coordinate and 8.607 for the Y coordinate. So trace is a good feature just to allow you to see some example X and Y values that are on your graph, okay? And that is how we use window, zoom, and the trace feature on the TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator.